everyone. Welcome to their very first Spring Lunch and Learn series on helping your kids to develop a growth mindset. My name is Cheryl Verklin. I'm the owner of Beyond the Classroom Milton. We are a one-on-one -on -one in home tutoring company that helps kids uh, support kids JK to grade 12 and we do support kids academically but we also support them as people to help their confidence in learning. So I'm a mom of three kids. I have three little kids at home. I'm also a teacher who used to practice for several years as a classroom teacher in a couple of different school boards. Uh, I've written curriculum content and revised it for school boards and I've worked in mental health for many years as well. And I can tell you that over the years I've worked with so many kids and families, I can tell you there are some major differences in kids that have developed a growth mindset and kids who have not. So, and I would also actually add parents who have developed a growth mindset and parents who have not. So over these eight weeks that I'm gonna be with you every Friday at 12.30, um, I'm hoping to offer you some practical strategies and tips that you can use right away, take home, use with your kids, and I'm hoping that if you actually try them, they will have a huge impact on your child's willingness to learn um, and also your willingness to help them learn. So stick around. At the end of this video, I will be offering as well a free resource that I've developed on um, the strategy I'll be discussing today. And I'm willing to share that with you. You can take that home and use that with your kids as well. So the, one of the problems today is that there is a massive amount of pressure on kids academically at school to achieve. And I totally understand that. I want my kids to do well in school just like you do and I want your kids to do well as well. And I also understand the importance of learning and progressing through the curriculum over the years. All that is really important. However, this focus on achievement is it's causing a massive amount of pressure for our kids and I believe they are becoming scared to fail at things, which is sad to me. Because when kids are scared to fail, it means that they are starting to connect their achievements um, and only, you know, connecting their success only to their achievements and not their work. So achieving them, achieving things to them is starting to become um, an either or situation. So it's, I'm either smart or I'm not, or I'm either talented or I'm not. And that's not, the, that's not the right way to look at things. That is a very fixed mindset way of thinking. Um, and I believe it's our job as parents to help our kids understand and know that disappointments and mistakes and failures and things that happen naturally to all of us are part of our growth. They're not a real failure, they're only growth and learning. And so because failure is, part of everyone's journey. It's part of my life, your life, all of our kids' lives. It is going to happen. Um, how are you preparing your child for that? How are you preparing your child to experience disappointment or failure or, you know, whatever goes wrong? Um, how you're right, the, the honest fact is how your child reacts to failure and disappointments and mistakes and all those kinds of things that do happen, um, can affect their self-esteem, it can affect their mental health, and honestly, it can affect whether they are willing to get up and keep going, or how they do that. Um, when kids start to understand that mistakes and disappointments are growth and learning, that is a growth mindset. When they start to understand that when something doesn't go their way, instead of falling down in a heap and saying, I'm not smart, they can get up and say, what can I take from this? How can I get better? What am I gonna do next time? That's the secret. <laughs> that is the secret to helping our kids persevere through challenges and keep going in their lives. They are gonna experience a million challenges. So how? How can we help them to do this? So for today, I'm gonna focus on one really, really important way that you as a parent can help your child um, Ex learn to develop a growth mindset around this. And the first way is praise. How you praise your child makes a giant amount of difference in their experience. So the way they hear you talk about things is how they will internalize their meaning of those things. So the message is praise in the right way. There's nothing wrong with telling your kid they're smart or they're beautiful or whatever, but there's a better way to do it and 
a better way that can send a message to them about developing a growth mindset. So here's three quick tips on how to praise your child uh, to help them develop that feeling that I can do better, I can grow and I can learn. Number one, praise their effort, their perseverance, their hard work, instead of just their abilities and their achievement. They may be extremely brilliant and that's great. They may have so many natural talents and abilities and that's great too. But the way you speak about their achievements, um, for example, um, say your child brings home an A on their test and you say, wow, that's great. You got an A on your test. You are so smart. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's a better way to do it. Instead, you could say something like, wow, you got an A on your test. That's amazing. You must have worked so hard. Good for you. And that subtle difference makes a giant difference in what your kids hear and where you put your focus, they'll put their focus. You focus on their hard work and effort, they're gonna start to believe that that is how they succeed, not just the fact that they got an A on their test. So that's the first thing, praise their effort, hard work and perseverance. It goes a long way. Second thing, be super specific about what you're praising so that kids know exactly what they did right. It's not like, wow, you worked hard. Mm, like how? Um, you can say, wow, you worked really hard. You studied those notes. I saw that you made extra notes and you underlined them and you did this, this, and this. That's a specific way of praising that praises their hard work, but they know exactly what was awesome. Um, and when you're doing that, although you probably know if you're a parent that you better be sincere about it because insincere praise is just lip service to kids. They know. So be sincere. And the thing is, if you can't be sincere at that moment, which leads me to point three, um, praise intermittently. You don't have to praise them 24 hours a day all the time. I think as parents, it's our tendency to want to make our kids feel good and want to offer them something, you know, a praise. And that's fine. And I'm not saying to do it less. I'm just saying do it intermittently in a sincere way so that they know what they did right and they don't come to expect it all the time. If you're a parent that's constantly, wow, you did a great job, great job. Oh, you really worked hard, you worked hard. You worked. And that's, those are nice things to say, but don't do it all the time because then if you do cut back on that praise, they're gonna start to think they did something wrong. So praise the effort, be specific, and uh, be intermittent when you can with your praise. Keep praising your kids, but praise in the right way. And that message will start to translate to your kids that, wow, I should, you know, that hard work really is important. Wow, I can keep going. Even if, you know, I got a, I got a C on my test, big deal. Guess what? I can learn, I can grow, and I can get better. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to keep it brief. Um, I want you to check out our website. It's www.beyondtheclassroom.ca. On there, there's a specific area for parents and resources. And on there will be um, the resource that I developed around praise, as well as a couple of others from another Lunch and Learn series that's also going on. Um, I really appreciate you joining me. I'm gonna be here next Friday at 12.30 to offer you a second really important tip with a second resource, of course. Um, so I just want you to also know that at Beyond the Classroom, we're really here to help support your journey with your child. Um, if we can make your life easier with one of our tutors or teachers, let us know. We, our tutors and teachers are awesome. They're amazing people. They're Ontario certified teachers. They are very growth mindset driven. They live by this philosophy that I'm talking about. So working with one of our teachers is a really, really good experience for your kids, not just academically, but also to help them grow in their confidence with school. So feel free to contact me. We offer the first session for free so you can try it out and uh, we would love to help you. So thank you for joining me. Remember the tips, please go to our website. I'm also gonna post a link below uh, that you can check out, but download our resources, try it, and tell me how it went. I'd love to hear. Thanks so much.